Okay, so um, I'm going to take you on a very brief tour here of the account settings, how you get fully set up so that you can start using um, exam screen to its um, sort of full potential. So uh, I'm just on the, the screen here, uh, but I'm going to take you into the account settings by clicking on the navigation bar there and going into my account. So in the my account page, there's four tabs here, uh, all dealing with different aspects of your account. Um, the first one here is account settings. So this is kind of the basic stuff that um, that goes onto your exam screen and kind of um, and personalizes it. So you've got your uh, organization logo here. Uh, you can choose from a range of uh, colors. Um, they're all nice and bold colors, which is really important um, for the screen so that everything's very clear on it for the students. Uh, under this is a, a custom instructions poster, um, which you can show when you're on uh, on the screen itself. Um, so I use this, for example, when students are coming into the exam room, so they see a couple of really clear uh, instructions and know what to do when they walk in. Um, and uh, you can change colors on here, you can edit text size, uh, all sorts of things uh, to make it have the biggest impact proper uh, possible. Um, underneath that, your account details. So this stuff uh, will already be in there because you'll be asked to um, to enter it when you sign in, sign up. Uh, you can change your password in here as well. Um, there is also obviously a forgotten passwords um, option on the uh, on the login page. You can enter up to three center numbers, which will then display um, on the screen. And you can also set your clock settings in terms of um, uh, whether you want it 12 hours, 24 hours, showing seconds or not. Always make sure if you make a change on this page that you click the, the update button to make sure that those changes uh, get saved. Uh, and then just quickly to take you to the screen to show you how all those things sort of manifest on the screen itself. Um, you've got the logo, you've got the type of clock there, the color you can see, um, uh, you've got the center number. If I click on here, this is a resources tab and you can go to the construct custom instructions poster and you see how you would display that then um, in the exam room. So um, that is the basic account settings. Um, the other tabs on here, there's a subscription tab. This is pretty self-explanatory. It shows you uh, whether or not your subscription is active and what payments you've made. Um, on this tab is the manage users. This is a new feature where you can set up um subsidiary accounts so i've used this just to set up a single um generic invigilator account uh to log into that they can either use the email address that you use to set it up which you use in this form here uh, or they can use the user id here so you can give them either one of those two to, to log in and you set their password within uh within this um so the benefit of these uh, additional accounts, these sort of subsidiary accounts, is that they can access the screen, uh, but they can't access your account settings. So they can't change any of this basic information about the account. So that's a real improvement, I think, from the from the previous version. Uh, the fourth tab here is uh, the exam catalog. Um, I'm going to make a, a longer video on this that explains in detail how this works. Uh, but this is basically the new way that exams get added to your screen. So you can import exams in bulk. You can add them individually. Um, it really doesn't take very long. Uh, you obviously can enter all the details that you need to about the exam. And then exams will show on your screen depending on the date that's specified. Um, if you don't specify a date, they will always appear on your screen. So I'll just show you that year 10 religious studies exam. If I go onto my screen now, you can see that it's there with its timing, and then you can enter it uh, enter it onto the screen. So that's the um, basic account settings. It's much simpler than it used to be. There's no adding examples or anything like that. Um, it should be very straightforward to get to get set up and get started.